uh, as promised uh, uh, that I will be showing you the inner uh, view of, of our R320 uh, power edge server so in order to open uh, the upper case you need to pull up this lid and just send it back and it will open up the module okay this is the inner uh, view of R7 uh, R320 uh, which support uh, up to 64 GB of RAM um, <coughs> and have uh, four four slots as uh, which means as uh, that you can have a RAID 5 RAID 0 RAID 1 RAID 10 0, or 0, 01 right now I have emptied this hard disk uh, I have to place it in a case and attach these hard disks to them so uh, coming to its uh, 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 parts uh, these are the fans and which uh, are really useful for cooling down the processor which is this one we have 8 GB of RAM as I said you that it supports up to 64 GB uh, it's, 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 it can also be a very good uh, virtual server uh, virtual server uh, this is the CD ROM which I have uh, this is the SCSI uh, uh, SAS module which is connected to these four modules here one two three and four uh, it's, it's really uh, a hands-on experience for me for uh, designing this network uh, uh, I have recently started my uh, virtualization um, interest uh, for carrying out this process um, I have studied lots of books uh, and also watched some videos which were from uh, train signal and CBT it have really helped me uh, in designing uh, in the VMware structure so uh, you have um, two network adapters two network adapters uh, 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 two USB at the back two USB at the front one VJ card at the front and one VJ card at the back we have COM port as well I'll, uh, the only drawback uh, which uh, I have seen here is it doesn't have a redundant power supply uh, it just has one power supply uh, which is uh, really good uh, for a uh, uh, a average based uh, server uh, to carry out uh, your virtualization uh, uh, I hope that I have uh, covered most of the parts for R320 uh, uh, let me pause the video and I will take you to the inner section of R720 uh, the, and from there uh, we will find out what's really difference between R320 and uh, R720 dear viewers uh, welcome um, back uh, uh, as you can see I have opened R720 Chashi uh, the wherein and you have uh, lots of things to uh, uh, get from R720 uh, uh, you have um, uh, you will find an 8 base 8 hard disk bases as for 3.5 inches uh, of hard disk you also get this one with uh, uh, 2.5 up to 32 slots uh, bases for hard disk for 2.1 inches it's coming into the inner part you have a airflow system uh, which is really good uh, you can even uh, take out one module uh, at a time to check uh, uh, whether the fans are working or not uh, it's, it's really a good handy uh, uh, module you also have uh, the bulk module uh, if you pull up this leads from the side you will see uh, that you have a module wherein you can pull up sorry let me pull up this one okay this is what it looks like uh, the fans with five fans uh, which really provide the cooling 
in system for uh, the server <coughs> and looking into the inner part as you can see is that it has number of uh, RAM slots it supports up to 160 GB of RAM and um, it's it's really a, a good uh, server for carrying out the virtualization right now as I said uh, as I said before that this server is is having 16 GB of RAM um, and these are two 8 GB RAMs which are connected I'm placing back this system that's fixed and you need to lock this one uh, uh, you have a processor uh, here this is what the inner part look like you have a Xenon 2.7 GHz processor with the RAM slots here uh, you have SCSI drives And you have four uh, network adapters uh, which is uh, at the back uh, and one more good thing about R720 it has redundant power supply which means uh, in case of any failure of one power uh, still uh, the power uh, still the server is up and running and, and the great feature about the server is, uh, is that this is power cords are hot sappable that means and while running the uh, while the server is running in the production network uh, uh, you can remove the power supply when it's running and which makes uh, the other one an uh, a redundant one and as you can see is that uh, there are four network cards two usb and we also have one an irdc uh, uh, irdc module as well So this is, is, is what uh, R720 looks like, uh, I'll pause the video and get back as soon as possible. Dear viewers, uh, uh, let's have a final look at, at uh, all the three different servers which uh, I am using for deploying a virtual environment in my company and the company which I am working for, uh, I am using R210 version 2 uh, with RAID 1 configuration and I'm also using R, uh, R320 uh, power edge server with uh, two bases uh, two one terabyte hard disk spaces uh, hard disk uh, which is also a RAID 1 configuration uh, I'm planning to get two more hard disks for RAID 5 configuration uh, and at the bottom you can see uh, that I am using R720 which have uh, 8 bases uh, so right now I am only using 6 bases uh, with RAID 5 uh, with RAID 5 uh, 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 with a total capacity of 4 terabytes uh, I also have a memory a flash memory wherein I will be installing a, a vSphere 5.0 which is EXXI 5.0 on this uh, uh, I have also shown you three different uh, uh, inner views of R210, R320 and R720. So this is uh, a, a short video. Uh, in my next uh, upcoming videos I will be showing you, uh, you know, how to install a uh, vSphere EXXI 5.0 on R720. Uh, I will be creating a CD, uh, burning a CD of uh, vSphere and uh, I will be booting with the process. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Please do rate uh, uh, 